spiritual vittles and today I'm going in on the miracle prayer <sighs> family this prayer has impacted my life more than any other prayer that I've ever learned in my life I use it as a prayer I use it as a mantra I use it as a healing tool I use it to, to purify things food water purify my tools I use it to tap in I use it at my altar it's it's, it's my spiritual like 409 or something. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy S. Ali Myers. He's one of the guys, he's the God that introduced this prayer to my life. And in the beginning, I was doing my spiritual path and I was like, you know, I'm not into all these mantras. I don't even know what they mean. I don't even know what they're saying. This is an ancient Aramaic prayer. They don't even use that language no more. And um, he started telling me about his wins after using the miracle prayer. And shout out to our master, Dr. Mitchell Gibson. Dr. Mitchell Gibson introduced this prayer to the Western world. It's, it's actually called the Anabakoa. But if you go on Google, YouTube or Google and look up the miracle prayer, the wording and everything will come up. But um, S. Ali Myers, my good brother, challenged me to memorize this prayer. We would go to the mounds and do prosperity rituals. And him and everyone else in our spiritual, in our spiritual group knew the prayer. And I didn't. And I'll never forget that feeling of not feeling like I was included. Even though I was there and I was included, and everyone at the mound loved me, they are all saying the prayer and I didn't know it. When I had chances to know it, I felt as if I wasn't tapping in like my peers. And I told myself I would never go to a ritual unprepared again. The next time we went to the mound, I led the prayer because I understood then how powerful it was. This prayer has changed my life. It's helped me heal my mom from cancer. Thousands of people have healed from cancer just by listening to this prayer. With my attunements, I incorporate the miracle prayer within my attunements to help heal people. My divine spiritual resumes on the back end, I encode the miracle prayer is one of the prayers that's on the back end of people's resumes and cover letters that help them get jobs. It creates miracles. It helps their resume to vibrate higher than the other resumes. Everything I do has a sprinkle of the miracle prayer in it. And if you're wondering what the miracle prayer is, it's called the Anabakoa. It's an ancient Aramaic prayer, and it's said that it was created with the name of God within it. And I'm telling you, my life has changed just by learning this prayer, not saying it, memorizing it. You see, the English language is a bastardized language. It holds no power. Look at the English language and ancient languages like escrow accounts. For tens of thousands of years, people have been using the ancient languages, praying in them, using them for good. And it's like, it's building energy. It's building all that love and positive energy for all these years. So when you say it, you tap into the reservoir from which the prayer is resonating from. The English language, on the other hand, has been used for a lot of negative things. A lot of negative things. And it really doesn't hold much power. It really doesn't hold much power. So I'm going to bless you today with the miracle prayer. I want you to take, close your eyes. Do it with me, no matter where you are listening, watching this video. Close your eyes. Take three deep breaths in your nose and out your mouth. Each time you breathe in, think of God loves me. Every time you exhale, God heals me. Now listen to my words. Anabakoa, 
Gidula Yaminka, Tatir Tizara, Kabel Renat, Amcha Sak Venu Tahar Nunora, Nagabor, Doshe Yugadeka, Kababat Shamran, Bacham Tacham Rakam El Tazika Teka, Tami Gamlan, Chasin Kadosh, Barav Tufka Nahel Adateka, Yakiga E, Lemcha Pane, Zokre Kadusha Teka, Shivatanu Kabel, Ushman to Zagatunu, Yodea to Alamut, Baruksham Kavol Makuto, Lelam Layed. Did you hear that horn honk outside? That's the spirit letting me know. Good job. Good job. The spirit always aligns things up for signals for yourself. I don't have anyone outside. Letting them know when I'm done with the prayer to honk their horn. It's early in the morning right now. Most humans are asleep. As soon as I finish the prayer, meh, be aware of the symbols out there, family. They're everywhere. Miracles are happening every day. Every day, family. This video is nothing more than my way of saying thanks to the universe. I like to give light because light comes back to me in turn. I'm not trying to be preachy. I'm not being preachy. I'm just giving. I'm open and I'm giving. I love the comments. I love the messages. I love all the support I've been getting. I love all the support I've been giving. That I've been getting. So on that note, people, peace and love. It's your boy Chris Enlighten. Check me and my lovely wife out, Divine Queen, every Monday night, Twin Flame Radio, 619-924-0835. On Wednesday, check me out. I'm with my brothers. We going in hard on daily topics. It's, it's a banging show. It's called The Powers That See. Check us out. Wednesdays, blogtalkradio.com forward slash Twin Flame Radio. You want to support the brother? Go out to my website, theenlightenedjourney.com. That's T H E E V, enlightenedjourney.com. And on that note, family, peace and love. Winning! Thank you.